It's colonization, or what are we going to do? It, it's coming. <laughs> uh, when I first started my uh, uh, university career, I became sort of a uh, professional student. So I was a student for many years. But I first started, I bought a van to live in to cut my housing cost, and I bought a motor scooter to get around for very little money. And that worked rather well. But then the police uh, hassled me with living in my van. So I moved in with them. And ever since then, I've been usually living with roommates. And uh, when you live with roommates, you get a lot of investment money that you can invest in the stock market and become prosperous. So if, if you keep your uh, living costs down, the students here at the South Seattle Community College, which is actually in West Seattle, it's very strange. Uh, why isn't it West Seattle Community College? Uh, if they buy, uh, buy vans to live in, <laughs> as I did, and get, uh, and become supporters of the police, uh, and uh, buy motor scooters, it makes, really makes uh, education much more affordable. Now, if you have the demand curve for labor, labor is a scarce resource. And so, the demand curve for labor, which sort of looks like this, it slopes down to the right. Uh, yeah. uh, this is high cost and this is low cost. The lower you go, labor, the more, more people you want to hire. So since I want to abolish the minimum wage and unsabotage our market, our labor market, so anyone can get a job, if we unsabotage us by abolishing the minimum wage, more people can get work, part-time work for students. So students can... So they wouldn't need buses? Uh, <laughs> we're going to get you back to the bus time. Right. And uh, so... Uh, uh, instead of laying off the bus drivers, if we just lower their compensation level, society can afford many more bus drivers. Let's go to.